give me the heebie jeebies though. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, nah, all this, um, I'm writing too many notes. I oh. talk about all this spooky stuff. All the spooky stuff? We're just talking about the um, trouble in the um, last days. But I just want to hurry up and um, pull the um, other cheek. And because just to let you know that's not talking about don't fight back. Like these that going pastors. And it may be these like, um, these pastors in the churches. It's like so some of the problem with the civil rights movement. The civil rights movement? That whole thing was a, the thing is this. That, that. That's a whole big. The thing is this. The, um, it's, things, five, it's chapter five, verse thirty-nine. Yeah, yeah. The um, Martin Luther King. Matthew's five and thirty-nine. Yeah, not until he got in touch with Adam Clayton Powell did he start that nonviolent stuff. The civil rights movement was then retaliating greatly. Not until he got with Adam Clayton Powell. It was this um Bayard Rustin, that gay dude. He was beating up so many white people. Okay. And yes. M MLK got with Powell. Yeah. No, uh, Adam Clayton Powell. Adam Clayton Powell. Yes, he was a, a Muleto CIA member, and he was paying Martin Luther King because Martin Luther King was a great speaker. But he had to get rid of Bayard Rustin because Bayard Rustin was he was kicking people. He was he loved fighting people. Yeah, I he had was. A book on Bayard Rustin. Yeah, but he was like he was like he was vicious though. So. That guy, he was he he he'll, he'll, he'll like he'll come up to a Edomite and he'll like. Be smacking like smack like a girl. Like what the heck? And he'll snap his fingers and walk right out. And then they'll walk and he'll wait in the street and fight him like a man. Are you are you talking about um? Are you talking about the one that decided to team up later on with Martin Luther King? Did no. they say, oh, if you like pro aggressive, like why decided to actually you know partner with Martin Luther King? There's later on somebody yeah. that was heard. I don't know. He this was, was a person who was in the, in the beginning. He got kicked out. He got. He was like one of the ones, one of Martin Luther King's top guys, and Adam Clayton Powell. He said, "You got to kick him out." So, his name was Bayard Rustin. Col was Colin Powell? No, Adam Clayton Powell. But Colin Powell. Not, no, no. This is Adam Clayton Powell. He's the CIA. He's an agent guy that was paying Martin Luther King's check. He was exposed by Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. He was. Yeah, Malcolm X exposed him. He's saying. He's saying like there's one different. Malcolm X says a difference between him is that. He's getting like um paid by the people. The people are supporting him. Martin Luther King is getting supported by one man from the CIA. So you already know what that's about. That's the thing. And even yeah, and there was one time where Michael Max tried to get like um paid out by it, and he was like, "You trying to like pay me out?" He says, "My oh, family, yeah. yes, you, yeah, it's on YouTube." I heard that. Yeah, yeah. He said, "I'm not Uncle Tom. I'm, I'm not like that." Yeah. That was when um, Malcolm X started branching off from the Nation of Islam. Yeah. And then the feds um, had came to him and then pretty much tried to get him to throw dirt on Elijah Muhammad and the nation. Yeah. And they was trying, they, they pretty much was trying to get him to sell out. Yeah. And the whole conversation was recorded. Right. And it's, it's on YouTube. Oh, well, mm -hmm. that's <laughs> Malcolm X. Malcolm X. <laughs> Just when my phone is down, I'm so mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Matthews, <laughs> Matthews chapter 5, verse 38. Alright. You have heard that it have been said, eye for an eye so when and it says, two for a two. So what's eye for an eye and two for a two? What's that talking about? In the in law, in the book of Exodus, chapter 21. Yeah, but what does it mean? I mean, if, if somebody punch your eye out, you punch their eye out. So, an equal, so you, um, a person... Who, um, the damage, judgment. Yeah, they supposed to get an equal judgment, right? Right. Okay, keep going. Now that we understand that, equal judgment, keep going. But I say unto you, that ye resist not evil. In other words, resist not that punishment. You done wrong to somebody. Mm. So, let's see, instead of getting an equal judgment, keep going. But whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek. So, in other words, why would somebody smite you on your right cheek? Mm. So you're it, don't, saying, it don't say for no reason. You're saying because they're getting punished. Yes. So so if they get smitten on their right cheek, mm -hmm. then they're supposed to turn the other cheek. Yes, because receive the punishment that you that you deserve. Yeah, twice. Much. Because remember when twice it says yes, yes, exactly. It says by. It's saying, like one for your punishment and one for you to remember. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's what it's saying. Turn who? That's who but has to turn. But whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, mm -hmm. turn to him. The other also. Yeah, that's why it says don't resist the evil. When it's the word evil there means punishment. That's the word when it says. So first person who's supposed to turn the other cheek 
is a so person who is says evil. Yes. I mean punishment. Yes, that's it's translates to evil. It's supposed to be translated to punishment. Don't, don't resist the. What does it say? Don't resist the evil. Right above it on thirty nine. It's supposed to say don't resist not the punishment. So you're being punished. You done something wrong and you deserve to get hit on the cheek. So uh, to show your sincerity, turn the other cheek and accept double. Hmm. Exactly. And it's going to even prove to you that it's the person in the wrong. Keep going. And if any man will sue thee at the law. So why they have to sue you? You done something wrong. Keep going. And take away thy coat. Yes, you done something with his coat or something. So he's suing you and saying, okay, you now owe me your coat now. You ripped up mine. Yeah, you owe me yours. Keep going. Let him have thy cloak also. Yeah, yeah, take the other one too. Show your sincerity. That's what he's talking about. Oh, that's, that is true. That is true. Because the law says that if a man takes a man's sheep, he got to restore four sheep for a sheep. Exactly. And David repeated it. And he's, um, Zacchaeus repeated it. Yeah. All he's saying is just the law all over again, but he's just, he's <laughs> fortifying it. But these daggone Satan worship, um, Good old Christians. Good old Christians. Um, doll, <laughs> these dolly, lovey, dovey, um, having hearts in their glasses and hearts things. <laughs> yes. And like my niece said, well, maybe the sport really is love. Uh, That's what my poor niece. That's what he's saying. <laughs> exactly. It's telling you the person who's doing the evil, doing the wrong. Let's say he says something like to you wrong, wrongly, and it was your fault. And things like this, you um, and he smites you on the cheek. Now you're in the wrong, except the other one too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take your punishment. Take it like a man, like this thing. Yeah. So you take Whoa. it. Yeah. Now you understand. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't mean that somebody. No, that's consistent with the law. Like exactly. I totally yeah, but the thing is, Esau and these wick, wicked Christians, these rosy-eyed glasses Christians, are all happy and everything. Oh, love, oh, happy oh, love, day. love, Caucasians and everything. Come. Oh, they over there with their daggone shotguns. Hey, make sure you put like a little target sign right there and just put your hands out. <laughs> hey. Have any of y'all ever saw the Boondocks episode about the um mm. the Freedom Bus? Yes, yes. <laughs> Ain't nobody, no way gonna turn us around. <laughs> All right, Yo. let's continue reading. Yeah, let's go back to um the part of Revelations. <laughs> I just had to get to turn the other cheek on. Because that that's the that was very interesting, very good breakdown. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of these pastors they keep on going, that, and when I bring that to them, they Is that like uh, hot air coming out of it. Yeah, Revelation. you still cold? Yes. Revelation what? But it's because nine we have and, um, directly on the floor. Twelve. Oh, okay. Yeah, Revelations nine and twelve. Revelations nine and twelve. Right. One woe is past. So one woe is past. So one of the destructions is past. And behold. There come two woes more hereafter. Exactly. Keep going. And the sixth angel sounded. Mm -hmm. And I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, mm -hmm. which is before Yah, mm -hmm. saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, mm -hmm. Loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. Ah, the great river Euphrates. So, mm. yeah, so it's another demonic entity going on now. So it's going back and forth with the spirit world. Keep going. And the four angels were loosed, mm -hmm. which were prepared for an hour, mm -hmm. and a day, mm -hmm. and a month, mm -hmm. and a year, mm -hmm. for to slay the third part of men. Mm -hmm. And a number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000. Mm -hmm. So it really is 200 million. Mm. Yes. And I heard the number of them. Mm -hmm. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, mm -hmm. and them that sat on them. Okay, so right here. Oh, keep going. Having breastplates of fire, uh -huh. and of jason, mm -hmm. and brimstone, mm -hmm. and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. Mm -hmm. mm. So when it says the heads of lions, so what's going on? It's this special type of tank that has this like round head and this large thing pointing out. In this large gun, this Look large like a tank. Yes, but it's not like the special one that went done to, that does like extremely high damage. Mm. Yeah, the yeah. one that be in the deserts, and you see them in the in the in the training things where they show like if you go to YouTube, they show the trainings, mm -hmm. and they like they can ride like eighty miles per hour right. or so, and then you just see like the thing just clogs back like poof. 
Yeah, and the weird thing is they have the ones that fly now. Tanks, tanks that they, fly? Tanks that can levitate, like Because when you're going in the Over desert, the mines. Yes. How yeah. do they get them to levitate? The, okay, not levitate, but they like, um... Yeah, fly, but they're not like flying like in the air. It's like, um... It's like, they're using the same way of, um... It's a way, the way, when, when they show it, it's like the way they're like in the air, right? Similar to like helicopters, but it's not, they're not having a helicopter at the top. It's like the way they have them levitate. Mm. I mean, you see some of these things on things like the Black Wolf and things like that, where it's like these secret military weapons. Mm. Yeah, those are ones that like, um, that they're like the um, ones like what they call flying fortresses and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say too about um I don't know about that stuff. So. About how um the scriptures is describing these things and it's making comparisons to beasts and saying um um grasshopper and scorpion tail and yeah. all of that stuff, right? Because that's what he's seeing. Um even now in two thousand and seventeen, um there was a documentary, I forget the name of it. I seen the documentary of like technology that's been made that haven't really been released yet and yeah. even technology that have been released mm -hmm. the military got all type of weapons where they actually the the weapons that's made is actually um designed based off of like live creatures like animals mm -hmm. insects and yeah. things like that they use them to inspire and, right so they the actually actual have issues. like like for example look, um, look at, um why is a uh, car has what horsepower <laughs> right, right, exactly. right. They have a. They had this one machine it's where it's um it's designed yes. to walk cliffs and mountains like a goat, mm -hmm. and literally like it looks like a goat. Mm -hmm. Wait, and, what? What is this? Uh, I don't know the name of the machine, mm -hmm. but they have this they, one machine designed and inspired by that. Um, it was inspired by a goat, by a goat where goat. it it climbs the mountains like and a goat. You, you could kick it, and it has artificial intelligence right. similar right. to an animal. Where it will balance itself and right. then pick up the pace exactly, again. and and they really use crazy. it to carry like the heavy the luggage heavy and stuff booty. like that, mm -hmm. and and they actually use this like in a war over there in the Middle East and everything. So right. they're making they when they make their they weapons, they it. yeah. They said that they were testing it, right. but you know that what well, they showing us being tested, they're already testing it in the battlefield. Right. Yeah. Whenever they show it to us, mm -hmm. by then it's already out there, and yep. that always is known. Right. When they show it to you, they even show you the, the old version of it. Yeah, I want to tell you something about nice. the last World's Fair. Um, the woman who um, went there, she told me what she saw. At the, before World's Fair was banned in um, American soil. Um, the last World's Fair showed hologram technology. Mm. What, what year was it? This was, uh, I believe, 1979. Uh, or 1975 was the World's Fair, the last one. Before the military signed that thing. Thing saying that civilians, that was when they were able to show, um, restraint all technology. They show hologram technology, and people was able to talk to the hologram. The woman said she was able to talk to her, and the hologram was able to talk to her back and understand what she said. Hmm. This was what this they had. What? Huh? What was this? Either 1975 or 1979 was the World's Fair. And America. the woman testified. Yes, she was actually actually part of Sister McGunner. The late oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, that. she she was there. She seen it. She know what she saw. She said she saw certain robots and things like that. And these were the things that people who had a ticket to get there. I don't know how much the ticket was. It was like a limited seat. You get a ticket. I think the ticket was five grand or something. It was like um, something where you get there, and you couldn't take pictures. That was no thing. They check you and everything like that. And you just went there, and you just was able to see what the military had to offer. Mm -hmm. He was able to see there, ask the people about that. They showed about the um, the um, things they had, ice bullets and all that, and like um, all type of the, the, the thing that I admired myself was the hologram technology. She said that was awesome. So. It mm -hmm. was a sister from. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this she, is similar to the gold robot. Okay, yeah. Let me see. And they carry all of the heavy artillery yeah. in the military. They could carry up to one, I think, almost mm -hmm. a half a ton. Right. Like a half a ton they could carry about. Right. And a half a ton is actually a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like saying a half of an elevator. Right. What's it called? Uh, 
This one it just says this one is not the one exactly, but this the one that we're one. talking about because this one says um pet robot um dog like a dog simulator pretty much. Mm -hmm. But the one that we're talking about is actually like a mule, like mm -hmm. a like a like a ass almost like the, the actually that, the that size was of the an one ass. I was. No, this is not it. That's not it. Because this one is for a dog. And the one that is is actually connected and is actually like it has like the things for you to put the heavy artillery and everything. Mm. I have a question. Yes. The um. So then, do you think that they're um, accessing uh, demons again to do like the coins? Yes. Yes, of course. It's now everything is now with the American military is spiritual. I mean, totally people. I, know yeah, I, I believe that that's what they want to do. They want to clone people. I, in my opinion, they said it's better. That was like a, um, a failed experiment with the cloning thing. That's why they're not talking about that much more. They realize that it's better to just. Um, no, there you go. Yeah. Because the like, right. robotoids or something? No, no, no. No, it's not a no, robot. No, the clone, instead of. Um, because the super soldier, super soldier program and cloning are two separate ones. Super soldier program is just you get a bunch of. Um, put it on the screen. No, 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 I'm no, automatically going to put on this one. Well, yeah. he has stuff that you're going to put Yes, huh? No, I was telling him you have stuff that you're going to put Yeah, go on. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, a super soldier program and cloning is a little different. Cloning mm -hmm. is like you take in like one of these strong people and you're trying to clone them. You start them as a kid, as these strong, strong creatures. But the thing is, they have the exact same thing as this type of thing. So in other words, it's a child who have a 35 year old mind and things like that same, same way of getting sick and things like that and he has a very short lifespan not good why not start something known as a super soldier breeding farm get all these um go into these female prisons and get the roughest toughest looking females and everything no 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 the ones that the big the big females get strong men and things like that and start with a child and train them up to be a military super soldier. You have all these big soldiers. It's more easier for them to do that. Just get these, um, and plus these breeding farms. Are they farm. doing that is the question? Yes. Yes. I had um, a person had an experience where um, they're doing it because it's like this. They're, now, they're, before they were like snatching women up um, from prison, getting like women who were like um, like serial killers and things like that. Not to go to death row. Yeah. Nobody going to miss you. Yes. And they said, would you like to get um, pregnant for the last time and things like that? And, and, of course, they said, yes, yes, I'd love to feel the meat again. And, you know, things like that. Yeah, they, they had the, <laughs> the, 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 the things like this. Remember that they, was funny. Yeah, because they had 40 years without no nothing like that. So, it's, guess what? Uh, she's, a, she's in jail, serial killer. The big, big woman. So, after she um, got pregnant, had the baby. The baby's part of the government now, and she gets put to death. So, what are they going to do with the child? Raise him up as now a super soldier. Mm. He's gonna be a big dude. You don't have no. He's gonna be one of the sons of none. Meaning that's the program, son of none. Mm. Yeah, they get it from you know. Son yeah, of, the, the but rival. It be, yeah, but the thing is, it's called son of none. Meaning you you're not you don't have no mother no more. Mm. And your father, you ain't going. You don't need to know who your father is. And that's where they got the uh, whole thing about Altair from the um, what was it, the Assassin's Creed Altair, son of none. Mm -hmm. That was his full name. Mm. It's from the Super Soldier program. What was his name? It was it's a video game called oh, video. Um, the Assassin's Creed. The guy's name was Altair, son of none. Mm. And that's where the American Super Soldier program came from. The guy who was um, part of the program, he was telling what's going on about these breeding farms. They mm -hmm. just don't call them breeding farms. It's called um, that while they're trying to now make their own soldiers. They're saying instead of like getting people to join the American army, why don't you just make an army? They said instead of cloning people and they end up dying soon, just start out with like a bunch of kids. So and that's why they started doing that. And they said, you have a jail cell full of females who and you don't have to like drag them over here. Just get these strong females like six foot tall and everything who just don't care and tell them that would you like to get pregnant and everything and all that. And why would they say no? Just get their children. Not only that, they get more benefits too because now during okay. that time that you're pregnant, you're probably... No, he's no, saying but they don't the, have to be in a regular cell now. Yeah, like they don't they have to be in a regular cell. From the population. No, not all of them. He's different. not saying that yeah. all of them is getting killed. Yeah. There's, it's not all of them that get killed. There's some that is like just lifetime in yeah. jail. Yes, know? exactly. And, it, and their job nowhere. is just to, um, like, for example. Just to have kids they, and get better, exactly. better conditions. They'll say every you year. You're going to get steak while everybody else is getting pudding. Yeah, every year. Your job is just to get pregnant. That's your job. Yeah, why not? Yeah, so all you're doing is bearing children for the army. You're this big woman. You having these different men coming to you, 
having given you these strong children that you cannot have any access of. That's the thing. Once you have that child, give it over to the government. And that's it. And they say, once you don't get emotions or attached, you just get another one. And another one. That's the thing. That's the government. They're going to be raising them. Huh? That's the stuff. But the thing is, that's how they're making these super soldiers now. They're, they want to make these soldiers with no emotions whatsoever. And they have to raise them up all the way from a little child. It's called the Spartan Theory. Mm -hmm. How when the Spartans was taken at the age of seven and put into the Galgay training and then brought back to regular civilization at the age of 30, it was like at the age of 30, they were just standing there, strong men. It was like no emotions and things like that. They weren't laughing. They weren't joking. Just sitting there and things like that. They made the strongest soldiers. They got that from that. And also the Nazis under Hitler was inspired by that. There is an a anime hmm? called Monster that talks about it. Yeah. yeah. There's an anime called Monster that talks about how they did, the Russians did the program. I mean, it's yeah, the no Russians, Russians, yeah, they're doing, the yeah, they they started that before the Americans. And then it went that, down started, when the war went down, when yeah, the Russian the, war, that's when they say that a lot of them, they had to discontinue it. Yeah, because the, the Americans, they wanted to start the clone, and Russians, they started the super soldier program. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Americans, they, they started lost. early with the super soldier program. Yes, exactly, they started that Real because early. because they had, like, they already had, already kidnapped a lot of um, people who was for the Nazi party. They killed the men, yeah. kept the women, get for the, like, a lot Take of strong, the kids. Yes. Make sure you get find some strong woman and things like that. Make them into Russian soldiers. That's, that's whatever you get. That's what you get. All of this, like whenever you see a lot of these movies and stuff, and you see. And then it was you able know, to like, experiment like, on like, them. Um, Mine. Captain America, he always fighting who? The Russians. Yes. And the Germans, because yes. they're the ones that had all of those programs. Like, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. The and, the, and the thing is, one of the experiments was the mind control. MK Ultra started with the Russians also programming. Before computer programming came into effect, it was mind programming under the yeah. humans. Yeah. That's what he was um, doing that all with the Russians. They were programming. That's why you get movies like Salt and things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where they're able to send people over there and live a other life. And, uh, and, uh, and the Americans have another form of it called Mercurian Candidates and things like that. All, all, all of it's boarded down of what the Russians were doing. Mm -hmm. The Russians, they started out early in that Superman thing and that Mercurian uh, Candidate thing. So... That's the that's the whole thing. Like even like um Putin, like if you ever noticing like um there's times where they say that his brain like cuts off. Like I for example, he's under MPL term. He's a Mercurian candidate. That he wasn't part of those programs. He that's why when he started his campaign, Vladimir yeah, Vladimir Putin. Who's that? He's a uh, president of Russia. He's being controlled by the higher ups. That's the thing. That's oh, the one that is currently right now. Yes. Yes really think that these super super wealthy people would just let a person he a regular soldier that just um do that he had to uh the thing is pew and he just always has he's only five foot seven everyone you said he nods out or something yeah he just he digs his off he like does this many times he rarely does he smiles i think he just goes into a trance daydreams yes yes and yeah and maybe, the, maybe you're program yeah and the weird thing is it's like it's hard for people really? to him, he, yeah, well. yeah, and the thing is, it's hard for people to scare him. Like one time, even like um, Barack Obama got too close, and he like started doing the thing with the shoulders, like you said, mouth and point, like that. <laughs> like he did uh, Barack Obama, he did that. There's a picture of him when he was getting close to Putin, and he did this with his shoulders, like like that. And there's a picture of him just standing there, and Putin just looking at him, like like that, <laughs> like that, that that <laughs> that look where he's just looking at him, like 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 you ain't scare me. Like Barack Obama, he's like, yeah. Barack Obama's like six, six foot one, Putin's five foot seven, so he's looking up at Barack Obama. Barack Obama looking down, he said, bring your forces back. And Putin's like, I ain't bringing nothing back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's, that's how it is. That's what. I mean, a lot of those people, to be honest with you, they're deadly. Like, yeah. the way that they're trained in combat and everything, mm -hmm. you can't even, you don't need a gun. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. <laughs> yeah. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, mm -hmm. and them that sat on them, mm -hmm. having breastplates of fire, mm -hmm. and of jasmine, mm -hmm. and brimstone, mm -hmm. and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, mm -hmm. and out of their mouths issued fire, and smoke, and brimstone. So what happened is the tanks, oh. these, these, these flying levitating tanks, these jumping tanks, are shooting these brimstone and when the head of the tanks open up the thing it makes it look like, 
like just like a lion roars and it swoops up and shoots things right out. Mm. Yes. So pretty much what he's saying that all of this different animals that talks yeah. about in the book of Revelation is actually war machines. Yes, exactly. But John, he's just seeing animals. Let's go back to Psalms. Um, Psalms 91 verse 5. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Okay, the terror by night. Mm -hmm. like, so as you know that a lot of um, the American psychic line, right? They, they work by contacting devils and things like that so they can assassinate people by things that are going at night. Mm. Like that's where, um, like for example, people that's into these, um, what would they call like seeing these fallen angels or what they would call extraterrestrials that they'll nickname them. Mm -hmm. Aliens, so, they always come out at yeah, night. Yeah, it's really they're into mental themes. They're, they're actually like um, what they are are evil spirits. Hmm. And the thing is they contact, they get in touch with people who are part of the New Age religion. Like people who um, who are contacted by these beings, they don't never talk about their religion. They're part of the New Age. New Age believe that they are um, being controlled by these ascended masters. So that what they do is open portals to the gateways. Hmm. And these, they send these um, things usually at night of the person to abduct them. Mm. And they sometimes, what these sayings usually end up abduct, abducting themselves. Solomon, he had good knowledge about these things also. Solomon, he knew about um, what was going on with the occult and how the occult was on them. Um, and the thing is, when Solomon went off, he said something in the Songs of Solomon. See about um, what's what's going on about these. See the thing is Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, the way if you want to know how the book of Proverbs was written when Solomon was getting his wisdom. And um, the songs of Solomon was when he's in his height of his wisdom. And Ecclesiastes when his wisdom is slowly, slowly fading away. Mm -hmm. Because that's why he starts bashing on women a lot. Mm -hmm. Because the women were the ones that caused it, mainly the outlandish woman. That's mm -hmm. why when he says out of uh, all these women I see none, yeah, mainly all his wives. That's that's the, no literally if you really look at it, he's talking about his wives because he's like viewing it because he's just seeing all they care about is luxury and all his palaces. He said at least of like some of his, the guys, they at least care about something about the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So that's why he said I found none in one man is righteous. Mm -hmm. yes. Verse five. Nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Yeah, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Mm -hmm. So when it says the arrow that flies by day is just saying a missile. Right. That's I gotta, what it says. I got a link up for this one. Yeah. <laughs> this is second Ezra. <laughs> yeah. I had it Second Ezra and I wanna say mm -hmm. chapter fifteen right. and verse forty one. Okay. Second Ezra is chapter 15, verse 41. Mm -hmm. Fire and hell mm -hmm. and flying swords and many waters that all fields may be full. Fire and hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fire and hell. And it says the flying swords and many waters. But check out the type of waters it describes. That all fields may be full of full and all rivers with the abundance of great waters, and they shall break down the cities and walls, mountains and hills, trees of the wood and grass of the meadows and their corn. So first off, swords don't fly. Mm -hmm. That's one thing we got to realize. Swords don't fly. And then second of all, what type of sword brings water with it that breaks down the trees, buildings, Grums, huh? It's a, it's a metaphor, exactly. And it reads on verse 43. And they shall go steadfastly unto Babylon and make her afraid. So now the ancient Babylon, New York City. Ancient Babylon was never hit with a flying sword, but he just said it. New York City. It's talking about that mystery Babylon, that new spiritual Babylon. And it says, They shall come to her and besiege her. The star in all wrath shall they pour out upon her mm -hmm. then shall the dust and smoke go up unto heaven and all they 
that be about her shall be well her. So now this flying sword is going to bring about destruction right. to Babylon where smoke is going to come up from her. As we know in Revelations 18 where it say um, the smoke was going to come from that great city. 